All right, Bakta, 1928. Nothing in the house of Bakta, nothing in my history have we created that's remotely similar to this. What do I mean? 1928 is a truly one of a kind unique product. What we did here was create a blend, a blend first of all. The normally we do single vintages and we release those and releasing a single vintage is much like cooking a really good steak, right? You gotta get the right cut, you put a little salt on it, you put it on the right grill, you cook it and everybody's happy if you got a good piece of meat and a good meat master. The, the a blend is something altogether different and more difficult to do, right? I mean, and we know like having a really great steak isn't every day. The, but now this is much rarer, what do I mean? So instead of just salt and the steak and the grill, which is a single vintage, which are exquisite and amazing, this, we open up the entire, you know, spice chamber. All of the spices of India and the Orient, so to speak, the, that we have put together here in terms of our collection of spirits. We have French spirit in here. We have two different types. We have American rye whiskey that's been put in two different types of casks. We have over 20 different vintages, some going back to 1928. So this is uh, an extraordinary blend of the entire world of spirits. This is the greatest product that I've ever created in the past 15 years of being in the business. That's from Whistlepig to today. The nothing quite like it. This is an extraordinary product. I would say before we go there, Raj, it's probably worth saying a thing or two about the blender's heart. You know, I, I think for centuries now, people have been blending with The blender's heart. Within categories. The blender's heart. <laughs> we got was the I, blender over here. Was right I now. drifting into a brogue? Well, in any event, uh, some of the most renowned whiskeys in the world, uh, whether it's Johnny Walker or others, have historically been blends of two different types of spirit, but within the same general category, whiskey in the case of a, of a product like Johnny Walker. What we've done, the wall that we've broken down, and the innovation that we are undertaking, which is unlike anything that anyone else has ever done in spirit, is to begun to blend, not just within categories, not just within whiskey, within scotch, within bourbon, but blending across categories, because why not? If you have an outstanding spirit that's made from grain, an outstanding spirit that's made from grape, an outstanding spirit that's made from apple, and by uniting these different categories, you end up with something where the, the sum is greater than the total of the parts. Yeah, two plus two is six. Why not? Yeah. And no one has done this yeah. in the thousand year history of distilled spirit yeah. until Bakhti came along. Yeah. So what's the base of this thing? The base mm. of this thing is whiskey. So we decided to return to rye mm -hmm. as our base whiskey. So this is a whiskey-based blend. 1928, 1941, 1973, 1996, on the Armagnac side, Calvados as well in here. All three elements of the blend express themselves here on the nose. You definitely get the assertiveness of the spice from the rye. There's uh, You get the apple. There's cinnamon there, there's a pepperiness there. There's like a, a powdered sugar note there. A hint of vanilla frosting, not too assertive, but apple, oh yeah, apple, caramel apple. But not overpowering, it's in balance with those spice notes and with the herbaceousness even that you get off the rye. There's like a mintiness on the nose, which is a little bit unusual. Yep. And then finally, I would say, what you pull from these ultra deeply aged Armagnacs that are part of this blend, there's a depth there. There's a profundity, if that's the correct word. Profundity. <laughs> profundity. profundity. I'll have to check my thesaurus. But profundity or profundity? No, it's a, it's, there's, a, there's a whiff of what they call rancio. You know, these earthy notes like black licorice and uh, what else do we get there? Like mocha and a little bit of like dark tobacco, like cigar wrapper, and it's, it's all there right on the nose. So what, 1928, the greatest thing that we've ever produced from a blend standpoint, the blend is the top of, let's say, the art of product creation. Here we have whiskey, 
combined with ancient French brandies going back to 1928. We've put these things together in a new product that's unlike any other ever released in the history of mankind. That's not every day, right? No. It's a legitimate statement. This is the most unique spirit released in the history of mankind, right? I don't think that, the, that's the, an exaggeration. The, it, you have rye whiskey coming together with Calvados, coming together with ancient Armagnac stocks. The result of this union mm. is like, it's noticeably whiskey. So if you're a whiskey drinker, you're gonna love this. If you enjoy some Armagnacs and some Calvadoses, you know, all 10 of us, the, the right now, the you're gonna love it. And Raj, you can make some outstanding five-year-old whiskeys. There's no doubt about it. Five-year-old rye properly aged in the right barrels can be among the finest spirits you're gonna taste. But when you begin layering in these older expressions of Calvados, stretching back to 1928, but also, by the way, including a relatively healthy dose of our 1973 vintage Armagnac, which, by the way, Paul Picalt, the uh, Robert Parker of Spirits, just named the spirit of the year, number one of the thousands, if not tens of thousands of submissions that he received, he screened, he tasted with his panel, our 1973 vintage Armagnac, 99 points, number one spirit of the year, and a core component yeah. number of one this particular is very different than number blend. two. Number one of all the different spirits in the world, mm. and perhaps most remarkable of all, most amazing is the price point. Mm. This bottle, people are gonna be able to get, you are gonna be able to get, for less than $100. But we decided to make this an obscenely good deal. For this history, for this blend, for this story, to make it available for under 100 bucks? Well, my God, that is, I don't think anybody, I mean, it's insane, really. I mean, you wanted to, you wanted to price it at 300, well, you greedy guy. Bacta, He's a very greedy guy. Bacta is a brand. I mean, there was only one producer that had two products in the top 20 of Paul Picoult's rating this year.